Hey guys, in this video, what I want to show you is just a quick trick that I use for Lumion and Blender for getting um, walls that look pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'd say photorealistic because I am just going to be putting a color onto it, but I think they definitely look good enough. Um, and you also don't lose, um, you don't lose that much quality for the amount of time it can actually save you in render times. What I used to do is I used to go into like Substance or Polygon and I used to actually get a plaster with the correct color. Um, but I find that actually playing around with those can be a little bit difficult. And if you really want like, you know, you really want like, I guess the detailed walls like that, you're going to be putting like a 2K texture in. Um, but I just find that it's a, sometimes you don't get the sort of the result that you want. Uh, but this way is a much smaller texture and you can kind of get that exact color that you want. So what I would recommend you do is just open up like something like Benjamin Moore uh, and I'll maybe put like a link to this, but you basically just find whatever color you want. So um, I think if I get like this one here, so it's Inglewood Cliffs. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to Snipping Tool. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make a little square. You can make whatever shape you want. It doesn't really matter. This is going to be tiling. So uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to save this to, it's actually another one I saved. So I'll just put this and I put like Englewood Cliffs. And I'm going to save that. I will uh, just move this off to the side for now. Um, just want to make sure I have the, the thing pulled up. Yeah, so just so you can see the color, that's what it is. And I'll just minimize that for now. And uh, we'll pull it in. So, Inglewood Cliffs. And then what I like to do is just turn the, turn the colorization down, turn the gloss down to like 0.3, I think. That's normally what I do. And then uh, you can kind of pull this up and see how close you are. So this is definitely uh, a little bit darker. So what I would do is, one, I'd turn the reflectivity down a little bit. Maybe like, uh, yeah, maybe something like this. I it, it completely depends on the scene. Like if there's an open, or if there's kind of like a light next to the window and it's looking really reflective, just turn it down. But maybe if it's like an interior scene where you know, the light isn't as like, it doesn't look as reflective. You can turn it up a bit to give it some of a shine. Um, that that's just completely up to you and what you think looks best. Um, but what I'll do is like, if it's not really lining up, then I'll actually just come in here and I'll just start to just tweak it down a little bit, just so that it's kind of like more, uh, what we had expected. So that's still a little bit darker and I'm going to just maybe go like that. So you can just kind of match it up. And I think that that's, uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, you really just have to kind of match it up with what you think looks good. And I think that that's a close enough match. Um, and so then you can, uh, you know, you can just basically rename the file, do it or rename the material, whatever you want. And, you know, you just apply it on this. And then basically what you have is a uh, just a quick way of putting in um, the the wall paint. And it's like if we, if we go to the desktop where I save the file. So sorry, I have a lot of stuff on my desktop right now. I need to kind of purge it after we get a few of these projects done. Um, so if I go to Benjamin Moore Angle Cliffs and I actually look at this uh, detail. So this is a 240 by 212 pixel um, image. That is very, very small. And so that's not going to bog your file down at all. So um, it actually saves quite a bit of performance. Like you may actually get a noticeable change in render time. Like if you were kind of recording them both, uh, you would see a difference. I don't think you're going to, you know, it's not going to take like a couple hours off of it, but it is kind of optimizing your scene um, without uh, really costing anything. Uh, and you, you, as I said, you can kind of, you know, you pull it up, you look at it, go, okay, I think that's matching. Uh, and so if you're doing a little scene, whether it's for like interior design or even just a personal project, you can actually see how everything would look uh, on the wall. Because the other thing you can do is since these are two different textures in here, this is also the, the Villa Van Man example. I just went in here because I needed some walls quickly. And for these videos, I kind of like to use the uh, the examples that are in Lumion just so that someone that is watching the tutorial doesn't have to go and like, you know, maybe download stuff. Like if you wanna, you can basically open it up, go to Benjamin Moore, and then you're hopping right into the, um, the video with us. So uh, maybe I'm gonna change this one now. And I'm gonna make this uh, intrigue. So this was another one that I, uh, I had brought in. So obviously when you go like this, it's, um, it is a little bit bright. This one is, let me just try and find this quickly here. I think it was this one right here. 
yeah, intrigue. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And as I said, it is a little bit light. Um, I think that if you kind of, if you turn the gloss and the reflectivity all the way down, it will look darker, but that's not quite what we want. We do want it to have a bit of shine. So um, that what I like to do is just like to put it on uh, either black or white, depending if you need it lighter or darker. And then you just kind of just slightly change it until you have more so, I, mean, I think that that's pretty close there. And um, yeah, as I said, if you, um, textures are actually something that I wanna make a video about in the future, about you know how much they actually can um, bog down your renders. Uh, I know that that's something that actually contributes a huge amount to it. So any tricks that you can do like this that you're basically just getting free memory and you're getting free file size. Um, because as I said, if you have a, a, a 240, by like 240 square image basically, it's just gonna tile over and over again. And I don't think you're penalized in Lumion for having something tile over and over again. You're just penalized for how big the actual import is. I could be wrong about that. I actually did ask the devs. So um, hopefully I'll get a reply back on that. And then um, you know, maybe I'll just put a comment below the video. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick trick uh, I wanted to show you. Hopefully people find this uh, effective. Whenever I use Blender for interior scenes, uh, I always do this. And I have started using it in Lumion lately, uh, just because I find that, uh, as I said, just saves time. And it, it actually looks pretty good when you render it out because the, um, as long as you kind of get that gloss as it, you, since like the wall, wall, real walls are actually like kind of bumpy, um, in theory, you kind of want something that's gonna look like that. But even in real life, when you're far away from the wall, you can't really see that um, unless it's like a really like, I guess like grainy plaster or something like that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully someone found this helpful. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you are, are subscribed, then uh, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.